Hello and welcome back. This is Insiders and I'm continuing the Dharmaturge. Well, last episode we completed our little introduction area, so to speak, and uh, well, we made some choices. Hopefully good ones, probably bad ones, and we had a sad news. Our father passed away, and uh, now we are in Warsaw, and we have to go to the cemetery and uh, see what we can find out what has happened um unfortunately the game kind of crashed at the last episode but again it, fortunately all to say was they're quite close by and uh, uh they've been patching this up but uh, there might be some little hiccups here and there apparently so save often if you're playing this probably <laughs> and Maybe rotating couple save spots. Anyways, I digress. Let's see. We have something here. Oh. So, um, did I read these last time? Yes, I think I did. Yes, yes, I did. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and because this is Rodimiechin, probably. Mispronouncing it horribly, but that's it. I anything new? We have Vesna here. Yes, we read that. We have the, the letters, newspapers, books, diary of oblate priest. Indeed. Then we have nothing new in here. What about the journal? Did we have something in here? It comes back here. Village resident. This, no. So, this is complete, but we missed uh, like a difficult love, apparently. And lost in time. I guess I missed something. Elder Vasily, I. And something from there, too. Um. Father Warsaw main quests. Oh, okay. So the I was just uh, looking for the completed quest, but it's right over there. So is there anything in here? Spiritual doctor. Mm, Rasputin healed me. I also had a vision. My father and the wild salutor. I saw him without Rasputin's help. I wouldn't have been without Rasputin's help. I wouldn't have been able to. I found Rasputin's praying by the grave of the district governor, Vasily. The man had died a violent death in a fire. The fire at Vasily's house wasn't accidental. It was deliberate murder. The violent actions created a flaw within someone involved, which in turn has lured the salutor. Uh, house is best. Now, I also recognize the trace of her husband, Luca. I should talk to him. He's working the clearing. I've come to conclusion that it was Luca who bore the floor that lured Bukavac. I managed to melt, melt Luca's eyes cold heart. He defended Vesna from the mob, and when they were banished, he left with her. At least they're still alive. I received a telegram from Ligia. Our father is dead. I don't want to, but I have to go back to Warsaw. So, okay, this definitely tells that um, uh, they survived. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. Now we have a map, and Povatsky Cemetery is where we need to go, but of course I'll check this area at least a little bit. Any new things in Belon? Oh, oh, message from Ligia. Can I read this from somewhere? Well, Ligia writes that father passed away. Um... Missing. Uh, probably there's nothing else then. And we don't have skill points at yet. Probably we'll have to upgrade this. Anyways, that's it. Let's move. Use too much time already. Oh, what is that? Oh, well, I know. Oh, right. That was the thing we already saw, but uh, that's where we need to go. 
Rasputin already doing something interesting and we definitely will see him more it seems like it I don't know if I want to use my skills uh, at least a little bit around these areas to don't stand around keep walking in a moment I love looking Got a point. Well, I do like points. Uh, increases the damage from the Salutor's next attack by 50%. So, because um, I think I want to go for that. Yep. So, what do we have now? Uh, brutality. Self-cost increases the damage from the Salutor next attack. Um, the problem is I... Wait. Action, reaction. Let's put it on here. Or... Hmm. Maybe... Yeah. For now, at least. We might, we might change those. Okay, that's it. That's something to read. I can never catch a streetcar. Well, that's too bad. The Daily Courier, the latest news. Chief of Police of the City of Warsaw hereby informs the general public that, in connection with their majesties, visit the number of units patrolling the streets on this day will be doubled. In particular, constables will look out for the groups of troublemakers that have been gathering more and more risks recently near major thoroughfares to protest against Thaumaturges and demand that His Majesty officially condemn Thaumaturges as charlatans and a menace to humanity. Yesterday, near Rimarska Street, the police arrested 15 people who protested loudly and disrupted traffic, demanding that Thaumaturges be puni punishable by death. The protesters were intoxicated and started a fight with the police. Unit dispatch Oh, with police unit dispatch on the scene. <laughs> okay. I really have to practice my reading. Yeah, we... Cabbers have such nerve to charge this much for a fare. Yeah. Their goal. Hmm. Read? Wait. A revolutionary leaflets. Um, brothers, the 11 hour workdays are killing us. Let us follow the example of the workers in German and English factories and fight the, to reduce them to nine working hours. Join the strike, put down your tools and join the fight for our future. Okay, that's where we... Oh! The Warsaw Courier, their majesties have arrived. When this issue of the career is in your hands, the ancient city of Warsaw will be receiving its most distinguished guests. His Majesty Nikolai II, the Emperor of all Russia, the King of Poland and Grand Duke of Finland and Her Royal Highness Tsarina Alexandra Fyodorovna will all arrive in our city this afternoon. This will be the royal couple's first visit to a Warsaw. On this long-awaited and joyous occasion, our city has taken up festive appearance Streets have been adorned with festoons of flowers and greenery, and the entire area that the royal procession will pass through is filled with crowds of people wishing to pay homage uh, to their majesties on behalf of Warsaw and all of the kingdom. And with that vow of loyal allegiance, Polish hearts sent to the throne a quiet echo of fervent desires and lasting comfort. These arise from His Majesty's words, who declared in his grand manifestos that his ultimate goal was to ensure the happiness of all his loyal subjects, and to discern all his loyal subjects' needs. Those gracious words of the sovereign have become a source of a comf comfort for the people of the Kingdom of Poland, and in the name of that comfort, the Polish people under Russian rule are happy to greet His Majesty today. Trusting their substantial needs will be recognized and ready for civic and public service. Uh, bold words. Let's see. 
what happens? Probably nothing good. If the history is uh, something that uh, stays the same in this world, but we don't know. The Country, Weekly Magazine, Chains of Warsaw's Governor General. Today, the Supreme Order of August 28 was announced. The Governor General of Warsaw, Commander of the Warsaw Military District Adjutant General Maximovich, will be released from his current duties while retaining the title of Adjutant General. He will be replaced by his second in command, Adjutant General Skalon. He was changed, and does it really matter to us? We will find out. anti tamaturge leaflet. Citizen, beware of tamaturges who act in secret, plotting to bring down the economy and thus take complete control over our society. Let us protect our children from those degenerates waiting for the right moment to take control over the most of innocent minds and souls. Let us get rid of those parasites. Recent research shows that the Taumaturge's brains are burned out from thoughts that go against nature. Hence, they cannot be treated equally to normal people. Let us act now before it is too late. Recent studies. Well, I bet there's some notes in there that says what those studies are. Because this is a scientific leaflet, obviously. Um, probably we will get in trouble because we are Taumaturge. So... Maybe keep a low. Monday notice to all police station chiefs of Warsaw beware of Aborigi Nietzschik, maybe, leader of the Shiv's gang, recently seen near Virtspova Street. Description hair blonde, eyes blue, face round, stature sizable. That's very accurate. I'm fairly certain we will find with these descriptions of the person. Distinctive marks, dark circles under his eyes, signifying exceptional anger or lack of sleep. He is a thief and a murderer, particularly active in the Shrodnietzie area. Who, whoever notifies the authorities of his whereabouts are con or contributes to his apprehension shall be rewarded. Huh. Is that something we can do or something we will encounter? Well, we will find out once we exit this area, which I'm not doing just yet. Again, this is a very lovely looking game. I didn't see or hear anything. That's a good policy, yes. Menu, Kastelanska restaurant. Menu, borst or broth, fruit soup. Pottage with crayfish, goose in jelly, young turkey, romaine lettuce, pan seared saffron milk cups, cucumber salad, compote, compote, I don't know, cream with chocolate, beers a la otero, cup of green gauges, mocha, black coffee, local lager, English porter, portioned, portioned caviar and snacks. Well, right. This is a bit of a fancy. Good day. Are you something important? No, you're not. And, uh, I think I've done everything in here, I think. I think. Yes, I, I'm fairly certain. I might as well say. Because, of course, why not? So, out we go. Husband's bachelor, don't be dumb. You know the career is the best one. Okay, if you say so. I believe you. Honest looking lad. The city that does not forget. Why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. 
Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Really? Well, we kind of want to know more about of him. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. That swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Before and after execution. Well, sir. The time for leniency and indulgence is over. From the moment this office is bestowed on me, no forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist. None! Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocateurs. He sure knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? Mm. Yes. Yes, I feel Polish. My name's Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not. Warszawa. Vremia terora. Zakonsos. Idi na chuj! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw. Arrestovat. Great heroes and their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel. The Loutmouth. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. Wait, what? Um. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Maybe for this time I'll go against my bride. I didn't dare suggest it myself. Because maybe we can avoid fighting or causing trouble. Ah. I ask you a tiny favor. The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd. And these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or of Sieg Zabirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? Mm, what are you suggesting? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I'd find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Hmm. Okay, who are you? Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? Um... No, well, I could say, say that, but, um, I kind of wanted to do, like, yeah, let's, For instance, let's go. I could disclose to a soldier that you came here with ammunition under your skirt. Maybe we should see who they believe. A respected lady of Warsaw, or a common magician who just a hundred years ago would have been burned at the stake. Well, since you asked so nicely. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take a look around. Let's see if we can live peacefully, find a way to get out of the Kettling incident. So yeah, that's Tsar Nikolai II. Well, he will end up badly in some uh, little cellar with his family.
Okay, but that's enough. Uh, Wanda, the bold girl that approached me during the Tsar's speech, introduced herself only as Wanda. She was sneaking bullets in the nooks and crannies of her undergarments, and not for the first time. Intriguing. Yeah, I heard that little clinking noise, so I decided to go against the pride. Probably we still would have ended up doing that, maybe. Maybe not, who knows. A fish called Wanda. Georgi Andonovich Skalon. He appointed by the Tsar, the Governor General of Warsaw, is not popular with the people. Skalon's first decision was to suppress the revolutionary terror with even greater terror from the authorities. That does not bode well. Tsar Nikolai II Romanov. Uh, Nikolai II Alek Alexandrovich Romanov, the Emperor of Russia, King of Poland, Grand Duke of Finland. He is visiting Warsaw with his family. Warsaw does not seem to care for him. Right. So, let's see what I can find. There is something red. Ah. A police barrier meant to help with keeping order during the rally. The, se the seemingly ordinary barrier carries the memory of a hand whose firm grip respect represents the determination of what the one who controls it. It was the gendarme con commander who set up the barrier, carrying in his heart a desire to return to the warmth of his home. All he needed was a scapegoat. Bullets that fell from under the woman's dress scattered on the pavement. Small bullets carrying big emotions, hope, because they were meant to benefit the cause, fear, which is in this difficult, which in, the, in these difficult times makes it the way to even the hardiest, way to its even the hardiest of hearts, and determination, the companion of courage, without which it would be impossible to face reality. Each bullet was hidden in the nooks and crannies of the undergarments with care and precision, just like the previous time and the time before that. This is nothing new for the person who took the risk. Okay. So I... Yeah, I could... Probably take him down and give him to the police. Or gendarmes, but um... Are you the leader? Can we talk to Pardon you? Me, gentlemen. The crowd has received the order. For now, zero response. We'll give them a moment. To arrest them all, book them, interrogate them. Gospody will be home in November. Gentlemen, please forgive me. Maybe there's a faster way to get this situation resolved. Back off, Poriak, or we'll start shooting. Paniatno, Scrum, Dovar. Hmm. <laughs> so I definitely could hand over her to them. Something continues elude you. Invoke your last name. Ah. Go. No, I'll leave for now. I'll need to check around a little bit more then. What am I missing? And from where? But I'm innocent. I don't think they care that much. This is not that huge area. What am I missing then? Probably need to talk to people. Um, okay, let's talk to you. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Mm. Offer your help in the fight, ask if he wants bloodshed. Well, let's go with the first one. Do you realize blood is about to be spilled? And that it might be mine? Fuck off! <laughs> okay, that's... Workers' leader. The workers' leader is a charismatic man whose words greatly move the crowd. He will not keep quiet, even if it means ending up in the cell. 
The manhunt at the station. The sergeant wants to call it a day and go home as fast as possible. A manhunt entails a lot of work that he'd rather avoid. With a little nudge, he might settle for taking the, in the agitators and letting the rest go. The worker's leader is perfect for the role. So... Oh. Uh, am I understanding correctly that is the most likely thing to do? Uh, you must collect all observations and uncover the secrets hidden. I'll probably want to talk to Wanda because we are still not through with her. Ah, somehow misclick. Still haven't squealed on me. Okay, we can't. I'm going to take a look around. I'm. Hmm. What if I talk to Corporal first? Did the Corporal tell you we're going to shoot? Oh. Um. Well, I guess I go with the worker then. The status now. Should we go in and capture the worker who's mouthing off and let the rest go? Da, Sergeant. We can use anyone as an example. Shagom, march! Goodbye. You're welcome. I wanted to thank you at our next meeting. We could use someone like you. We? Meaning the people you were carrying ammunition for, and who got you Dutch pomade for your hair. You haven't just got pretty eyes, you know how to use them. Maybe you'll find time one day for some jam donuts at Burke Rotblitz's? Mmm, jam donuts. Maybe I will. Another meeting. Fearless Wanda, the smuggler of bullets, proposed a meeting at Burke Rotblitz. Rot Rotblitz. The woman I met during the kettling incident was smuggling, was smuggling bullets in the nukes and crannies of her undergarments. Clearly, it wasn't the first time she's done that. Unfortunately, this time the car there did not ho didn't hold, and the bullets fell onto the pavement. Maybe fate will have us cross paths again, and we'll meet at Burke Rotbits for jam donuts. Mmm, donuts. And save. Um, okay, so we definitely felt feel that. Povatsky. Povatsky, it's if time is humankind's most valuable currency, those here are bankrupt. In marble mu mausoleums, bedecked in bespoke sculptures with inscriptions composed by poets, and the continuous supply of sumptuous wreaths, still they have nicks in their non-material accounts. Candles scatter out slowly, and sometimes someone throws fresh flowers as if in mockery. A bleak temple in honor of form without content. There used to be an idyllic garden here established by Princess Zartoriska. Maybe something. Um, with a noble woman dancing in Greek dresses. Now there is no laughter echoing among the ancient trees, only weeping. I have the impression that the story of Povatsky is a metaphor for the history of Warsaw. Okay. What? Kind of an area we are here. Oh, we have police station locked, locked, more locked. Carriage, we are here. Station, tram stop, and locked areas. I probably don't want to start exploring this area that much for now. I'll most likely want to go to the cemetery first. I I guess I need a carriage. Uh, I'm fairly certain we don't have anything to do with the police station at the moment. Of course, I'm going to click these a little bit. I'll try to see if there's something to be found here. 
I don't know if there's some very random things or not. There's definitely something there. Ball guard. Carnival ball at a public casino before midnight. The Polonaise Dorostansky. Waltz Franciszkiewicz. The Quadrille Radzanski. The Mazurka Katievski. After midnight, the Cotillion Popielek. The Lancers Zosnitski. Maybe. The Polka Frank Maj. The White Mazurka Racek. Okay. But definitely those are something you want to collect because you get experience. So, yeah. Of course, uh, they give the little background stories and make things more alive. Plus, you get experience. Yay. But off to the cemetery. Yes, I want to travel there. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If you ain't use it, it's going to rust. Now, more stuff. Brochure, the Grand Derby on Paul Mokotovsky, October 5th, starts at 2 p.m. Radio. Advertisement. Josefa Novinska Funeral Parlor in Warsaw, 16 Tarkova Street, offers first-rate decorations and equipment. It arranges funerals, ranging from the humble to the most extravagant. Very low prices. Very low prices. Thank you. And way we got the point. Yay. So, skill additional cast the states of random. Yes, I'll develop that. So... We have uh, increases damage from the salad to the next. Oh, suffering re receives damage 3 to 4 at the end of every round, max 4 times. Agony, suffering 5. Receives damage 3 to 4 at the end of the every round, max 4. Wait. The skill addition will cast a state on a random enemy. Okay, they are bit. Same, but there is some difference, but we will find it from the fighting. Now, what kind of an area this is, and where the hell are we? Zuski family mausoleum, that is our goal, apparently. Point of interest, locked, locked. So what I'm gonna do, if, of course, like so. Because I definitely want to see the areas. If they go on strike, maybe I can find a job too. Well, if you take their job while there's... <laughs> lovely drawing. While there's a strike... Is that the entrance to the cemetery? Yes, it is. So I'm not going to bother with that at the moment. Uh, some of the workers might be angry and do nasty things to you. Who knows? I can't feed my kids dignity. It's just uh, checking if there's something. Unfortunately, I can't read that, so there's that. What? Scratching? Where? Oh. Bazaar is expensive, lonely, and I'm still afraid to go. Why are you afraid to go there? Because it's expensive, or is there something else? It's obvious, Yara. Foreigner. Well, I am not. We can get a tram. I hope I don't get robbed. Hopefully you don't, yes. Note with an advertisement. Men's tailor, Roj Dorutsky. Uh, accepts all manner of tailoring work, offering the lowest possible prices. Except, expect thoroughness, tastefulness and diligence from the start to the finishing touch. 11 Prosna Street, entry from the front. Nice. A sweet aftertaste with a hint of bitterness. A postcard, postcard from the overseas world, where the song of heavenly birds meets a rattle of the slave's chains. Oh. Oh, so we are... These are the points of interest, probably something we make notes or make drawings 
Did I see something or am I... Am I just... Uh, imagine, I'm imagining things. More locked doors. Unfortunately, we, we are not the master of unlocking. At least not yet. Maybe we could use some saluter to open the doors. Well, I guess we... Oh. I guess we go to the cemetery and see what we can find out. Go back in somewhere else. This is the decent district. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Let's see. What do we have here? Red. Red. Excuse me, may oh. I? I need to get to a funeral. He's a temperament, sir. Don't let him through. Mm. Uh, I'm going with the proud. I'm asking you kindly, get out of my way before things get nasty. Get that heretic with fire and sword. That went well. Okay, time to kick some ass and chew bubble gum, but I'm all out of gum. I guess we're done with you. Selecting yourself or a saluter, you can preview both you, uh, both your and your saluter skills. This will help your plan your attack. Like I'm planning anything? Oh, I'm just winging it. Summoning Anita Saluter. You can summon Anita Saluter at any time. A green frame around the Saluter's image means they are exceptionally effective in a fight with a given enemy. Read the description about the Saluter to find out why they will be useful at the moment. So if there's... Okay, so green frame. Good. So... Um... Your focus deprivation will be more effective against this enemy. Uh, no, is this this? Oh, both are good for this. Um, damage based attacks will be more effective against this enemy. Damage based. So for now, I'll probably go with the uh, Uber. Focus deprivation will be more effective against this enemy. Yeah, he has uh, three points of focus and whoa, seven. That makes quite a lot of damage. What about for, against you? Uh, is it doing... It's similar. I don't know if I want to take the focus away. Do I just want to... Beat it. Let's go with this and um, increase, yes, um, I'll go with that. Probably not a good idea, but we'll try. Oh, it's very fast. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Enemy reinforcements are on their way. Okay, that's uh, probably not good. You should go down, so you can beat him already. Oh, not the face! Um, get some old wound going. Uh, okay, what happens if I beat this fast enough? That Does that mean the reinforcement won't come? I'll probably see it in here then. Um, okay, so yeah, this is showing the level I'm giving. But to be honest, we... I guess we just go with the planned attack and with this and you probably get down. Works. Uh, 
Oh, really? Enemies can have a trait that makes them immune to your attacks. Traits are related to different dimensions and they can be disabled. Okay, uh, could be a resistance, uh, re reduce taken damage point. Okay, we will see what we, he has. Disabling traits. traits. To disable an enemy trait, attack them with the saluteur that belongs to the same dimension as the trait. Note that if you don't have the required diamonds force, you can take away all of the opponent's focus and launch a strong attack. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so... Um... Wait. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, reduce taken damage by 80%. To attack with UPR to disable. So, yes. Um, these are both as fast, and then do I want to get you the old wound? I'll go with the planned attack. It should hit after the Yupir, so we are not doing that much damage this time, but if I understood correctly, Yupir hit him first, then I'll get the maximum damage. At least I hope. Oh, yeah, that worked. That was so enchanting, spectacular. You with the scowl and a puffed-out chest, and them dropping like flies in the blink of an eye, collapsing on their own, becoming delirious. Extraordinary. Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Would you care to give me an interview? Thank you, but I'm already late. I'm fairly certain we will hear about her. Let's well make a save. Hopefully I remember all of those uh, little things when the story continues. So what do we have here? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. So, obituary notice. The late Franciszek Hilmanto. Went to be with the Lord following brief yet painful agony, having received the sacraments on August 18, 1905, at the age of 65. The bereaved family is asking all relatives and friends to join them at the funeral service held at St. Anna's Church at Krakowskie. Uh, Krakowskie Przemiecie. Yeah, that probably went really wrong. On August 25th at 11. Followed by the transfer of the body to the family tomb at a Bovatsky cemetery. Parish announcement. Saturday 7 a.m. Votive service in honor of our Lo Lady of the Rosary for the, intent of the pro for the intention of the brothers and sisters of the confraternity of the Holy Rosary. 9 a.m. Holy Mass, which will be followed by the recitation of the Litany of Loreto with a prayer for the conversion of sinners. Good to know, good to know. Now we are here. So I kind of want to go here, then here, and after that, to our mausoleum. <laughs> mausoleum, I don't know what I was thinking there. Probably nothing. Stanislav's obituary. Stanislav Sulski, widely respected citizen, taumaturge, philanthropist, entrepreneur, father and husband, died suddenly on August 31st at the age of 64. A service for the repose of his soul will be held at St. Charles Borromeo Church on Saturday, September 7th at 11, to which his daughter would like to invite all relatives, friends and acquaintances. Tomb. Error. Requiescat in pace. Pace. Maria Wisnowska, Polish stage artist, born December 23rd, 1861, died July 1890. To my beloved daughter, wolf, a woeful mother. Do I, do I get experience from this? I don't know. I might as well read. Tomb. Here lies the Jan, Jan Schmielitz. Schmielitz? I don't know. Our dear friend in 
1891 he met his end. What he is now lies deep inside. What he was, never you mind. Okay, this uh, definitely gives me a... Fallout and whatnot games where you can read uh, semi uh, tombstones. else well there's definitely something um tomb graf friedrich karl nesselrode 1786 1868 seine tochter marie bokanov ruth bayem 1822 1874 more experience i do love that i do love that So this is uh, definitely interesting. So we get this basic uh, book of arch, upper, and sometimes one horned devil and uh, hedgehog demon. I don't know. And then when we upgrade these skills higher and higher, they probably get upgraded in this section. The question now remains: What do I want to write? Um, 60% chance of slowing the enemy's action is something definitely interesting. Makes you lose focus instead of taking damage with 4 to 1 ratio. That might be some... I have no idea how the how many skill points we will end up getting in this game. So is there a possibility to get everything up or not? So, I don't know. Uh, adrenaline rush. Cast. Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline increases inflicted damage by 50. Restores 4 if you help those for every enemy in the suffering state. Each subsequent action that restores health points will restore less of it. Hmm. Oh, but I don't have points for these. Um, I'll go with this. Now... Lucky chance. Where do I want? Interrupt is better, of course. I don't think we used action reaction at all in the last fights. Um, hmm. So this was the interrupting. This is have this have a higher chance to work, but it only slows. Um, hmm. What was here? Reduce the focus by... I, mean, I totally forgot that I got this, so this actually reduces two points, which is nice. Um, I haven't used... Uh, I'll put this for here now, and maybe I need... Can I put two? No. Oh, does that mean that if it's lower part, it goes to the lower part? If it's middle chevron, then it goes... Maybe? Maybe. Maybe it is, I don't know. But that would seem like it at the moment. So... We, we are here. There's this area still. Again, I kind of want to play from here, but it makes more sense to see the area a bit better, especially to find the hotspots and whatnot. At least now there's nothing here. So we might as well. 
and greet our sister. I hope she's here. Could I have a quick word? Such enormous storms. Uh, what use it is for the dead people, probably. Who are you and why do uh, Mordecai Chayat Chayat? I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat. Mordecai Hayat. Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? Uh, so you don't know the cause of your father's death? Quit that your father didn't have a heart. I need to feed my bride. We've ruled out any coronary causes since the doctors couldn't confirm whether the deceased had a heart. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure he's dead. And not pretending. Okay, we got a new thing about that. Hayat. Okay, that makes more sense than what I was trying. I met Mordecai Hayat at the funeral. He introduced himself as an acquaintance of the deceased. He asked me a number of odd questions and was keenly interested in the way father died. Yeah, that is... Very interesting. Anyways. We'll probably meet him later. They say you have to cut off the Tarmadage head after they die. Must be why they cremated him. Uh, I think that's for vampires. But it works for everything, I guess. I knew you'd turn up. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Stasha loved you in his own way. You look well. Ligia said he found some quack healer. Yes, uh, thank, thank you. You don't recognize me, do you? But do you remember who taught you how to shoot starlings? Uncle Voronin, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I probably wouldn't recognize myself anymore. Go look in on your sister, she's worried. We'll talk at home. Sister? Victor! I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All this caught me off guard, but for now I don't have time to think things through calmly. Have you written to Mother? Yes, but what can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. There was something about Uncle, but that... somehow got off. And I didn't press any buttons. Um... Well... Fine, let's get this over with. Angry looking fella. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. After brief suffering, fell asleep in the Lord. Brief? I hope not. Did you write this yourself? A tyrant, bigot, and liar, mistakenly absorbed, died after suffering all too briefly. That's better, and definitely closer to the truth. Hmm. The day you died, you visited me in my dreams. I was a child when you hounded me out of here, and I remember you as you were back then. But in my dream, you looked older. You gave me hell as usual. You didn't believe I'd succeed. You were wrong. I've come back with two salutars. 
Well, let's say goodbye sincerely. I'm sorry there are so many things I didn't get to say to your face. All those years, I said them over and over to myself in my head. How you were never able to admit a mistake. You never sought blame in yourself. Someone else was always guilty. Never you. Mother, because she wanted something for herself in life. Ligia, because she wasn't born a boy. Me, because I was born a thaumaturge, but I didn't want to live following your principles. And now... <sighs> Farewell, father. Am I intruding? Who the hell are you? Well, well, that's actually true. So is that too. I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Victor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. Why do you care about that? <laughs> With all due respect, this is my personal business. It was my father who knew you, not me. True. Please forgive me. I meant no harm. Again, my condolences. And you still haven't sent your name? Or your purpose? I didn't catch your name. My name is Kanyechkin. Ivan Kanyechkin. Goodbye. At least we got the name. Such interesting friends you had. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. So, what did we learn? Quite a lot, it would seem. Alexander Voronin. Uncle Shasa is our mother Nadia's Sasha is our mother Nadia's brother. Always kind and good natured, he watched us grow up. I'm not very close with his son, Petya, even though we are of similar age. Ivan Konechkin. At my father's funeral, I was startled by a certain Ivan Konechkin. He mentioned he had known my father and that he knew all about him. All about him. Elegant squares, northern. Elegant squares and plazas are frequented during the day by distinguished saunterers, police patrols, and high bros hastening to their offices. I know every corner here, every street, my old stomping ground. Well, we will get there, we will get there, yes. Ah. Funeral wreath. Someone has left a note next to the simple wreath. We had our differences regarding methods, but we shared the same goal. We will carry on, and you rest in peace, brother. Your friends in Tamaturgy. Not fear the rest condolences from friends in Tarmaturgy. Apparently, father must have kept in touch with other people in our profession. Well, makes sense. Wrath with note. Uh, someone has left an unusual note by the generic funeral wreath. Eat dirt, Solsky. Eat dirt, Solsky. The wreath has, uh, was thrown in Tron Creek. Let's try it again. In blunt terms, it expresses joy about signs of death. The wreath was thrown carelessly, but some time and effort went into the words in the note. Several versions were written, all of which seemed insufficiently offensive to the author. In the end, he decided on the simple yet eloquent Eat Dirt Solsky. That is unknown. Well, well, well. well. Tombstone. Josefina Zulska, near Hohenlohe. Bouquet with a note. A few flowers gathered together and a note. 
uh, you were close to me, and I, you were closer to me than I could ever admit, and now you're gone. My heart is yearning. S. Well, 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 who is S? The simple words contain sea of sadness and longing. The letter was written with a trembling heart that cannot come to terms with the loss. It seems that someone was greatly affected by my father's death. Stanislaw's funeral. More people than I would have guessed came to say their, fa their farewells to the father. It turns out that he had both friends who were clearly affected by his death and enemies who found it exceptionally pleasing. Well, it seems father evoked extreme emotions in the people he had encountered during his life. Well, we should know. Tombstone, Nikodem Zulski. And uh, I think that's it. I might as well make a save then. Of course, it's raining. Their family home in northern uh, Srodnitsi. So, I guess we're just... Go there. Use the tram. Or was it the tram? I don't know. Nice. I don't know why, but also Vampire comes to mind when... Uh, Maybe the appearance, the time, that, well, uh, it's quite close to the timeline of Vampire, of course. So there are similarities. We can go. The hardest thing was getting the lid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Faina. Thank you. And you, sir? Well, she has an S in her name, but I don't think uh, she's connected to our... Father. I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Um, well, I might as well. I might as well. Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. Stuff like this read a wet dream for and it's gone. <laughs> so this is the area we that is wait, this is not the oh it's northern so it's the part okay, okay, that makes more sense. I'll have to probably on the next episode I'll go these areas through before I actually continue with anything. And try to see what we can see and collect what I can collect. Please, sir, spare a copic. Um, no. Now, let's deal with them. Miss, your guests have arrived. The lawyer's upstairs, too, waiting. But try for jittery. Wonder if the tea I made him was too strong. Thank you, Grajana, dear. Let the guests wait. First, I want to take care of the will. I'll just wet my whistle and join you all upstairs. 
Make sure Uncle makes it upstairs sober. And I'll suggest you don't dawdle either. Master Victor, good God! Half your face covered, but I could tell right away it was you. You look just like your father in his youth. Completely his spitting image. Should I make you some cocoa, Master? It would <laughs> warm you up a little. Um, or Ligia. Make an extra creamy one for Ligia. Oh, I won't skimp on her. Now, your sister's putting a brave face on all this, but she's really having a hard time. It's lovely to see you again. But that's enough jabber for now. I've got the guests and the cocoa, and I've got to whip up some food for you all later. We'll talk soon. I'm sure we will. Journal update. Well, so many new things. Um, Grazina? The good soul of the Zulski household. When we were kids, she would patch our threadbare clothes and bandage our bruised elbows. She was closer to us than our own mother. It's nice to see her in good health. Okay, that's it. Uh, our house. Home. There was a time when I would, wouldn't question that word. Home was here, where my mother, father and sister were. But now, I don't feel at home here. Everything looks at the same. I know these paintings, I recognize the faces in the portraits, the wallpaper patterns, and yet everything is different. Graved in absence, void, memories of the past. I will never see my mother fixing her hair at the dressing table. No one is browsing old books in father's study, and in the hallways there are only the spirits of the carefree children who now try to find themselves in, new, in a new reality. Bit somber damage. More skill points. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna develop that. I'm not sticking that anywhere still. Now we are here. First floor, garden, green square, basement. Okay. That's the outer door. Let's go check the garden. I'll try to be as fast. Well, fast. Fastish. Lovely garden. Must sweep the monument soon. The leaves will start falling. Weird people. Okay, back inside. It's raining too much. No, no, no. We are not going upstairs yet. Didn't she have a brother? Yes, but he's dead. Who are you talking about? Bust of Morana. The stern countenance resembles that of a human, but a callous gaze shows no trace of human emotions. Queen of Winter scrutinizes you, sending a shiver down your spine. It makes me think of the words, if you gaze long enough in the, the, an abyss, the abyss will gaze back into you. Yeah, I have heard those words before. Basement? Oh, why not? What on it? Oh, they're in... Okay, they're, they're on the other... Room? Mother's portrait. A portrait of mother from her youth. She stands proud, wearing a white dress and silk scarf thrown over her expo exposed shoulders. Her long dark hair flows down her back and she glances at the we viewer with a piercing smile. Their skin and frivolous hairstyle. That's not how I remember her. Nadia as young, unkempt maiden. It's hard to believe. This shocking vision of the painter must have been created in a pre previous era. A time when hearts were tr stirred with violent emotions. Poems were created to the sound of a storm. Love stories had to end, in, had to end tragically, etc., etc. Father actually commissioned such painting. The audacity. 
No, there's no mirror that could cause us some troubles. Like in Oculus. That is a striking portrait compared to everything else. Now, what's happening here? 365 dinner recipes for five salotis by Lucina C. Capon or pule with sausages. Clean and pluck the capon while warm. Burn off the remaining feathers and knots over the fire. Slice off the giblets, giblets uh, to add them to the broth. Rinse, salt throughout, and roast on a spit while coating with butter. When finishing roasting, put a large spoonful of sausage butter inside, sprinkle the top with breadcrumbs, douse in liquid butter, and fry in the pan. If you don't have sausages, a piece of butter with the pepper will do. You can also put the sausage butter in the capon once it's on the platter. Now I'm hungry. Boronin, we are not talking to you just yet. Grazina liquor, liquor recipe. recipe. Quince liquor with amber. Pour a pot of ripe, duly picked quince fruits into a four gallon demijohn and. I guess it's demijohn. And pour in a light, cool syrup with six pounds of sugar and two gallons of water. Add ten pieces of amber, stir perfectly, and add half a gallon of your best spirit. Seal and place in a moderately warm place out of the sun for 10 days, stirring several times per day, shaking the damage on. After 10 to 12 days, when the clumps have sunk and the liquid is completely clear, pour into bottles, cork tightly and keep in a cool, dry cellar. Nice. No, 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 under. Oh, Petya. The Warsaw Carrera Evening Extra. Here's the latest news of the riots that disrupted His Majesty Emperor Nikolai II's speech today. A moment after our gracious Emperor announced Georgi Skalon as the new Governor General of Warsaw, a group of troublemakers started yelling most disgraceful slogans. Despite reinforced security, there was a scuffle. The gendarmerie were quick to get their situation under control, however. A few people were injured, including two policemen who came to help. Thirty people charged with public nuisance and brawling were taken in. Uh, Thirty people charged with public nuisance and brawling were taken into custody. Wait, that's not how it happened. Maybe. Father's portrait. Uh, the portrait depicts father in his twilight years. The serious expression on his face, the proud posture and the grimoire in his hand, combined with a dark background and lack of embellishments. It all reflects the strictness and pragmatism he always had. Good old Stanislav, however, a faint... Good old Stanislav. However, a faint red streak can be seen around his figure. Apparently, artists are particularly sensitive to seeing things that usually escape the human eye. This one should receive double emo emolument for capturing the taumaturgic aura. Yes, there's that. What was the salutar of my father and what happened to it now? I kind of... Apparently, Victor Suski. Yeah, I'm sta standing right here. So, let's talk, let's talk to Petya and then his father. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth again. I already failed to recognize someone once today, but you look familiar. Well, I should think so. I was the victim of one of your starling hunts. Voronins must not be very memorable, cousin. Pietia, forgive me, and for shooting you as well. How are you doing? Just some heart problems, not a subject for today. I'm sorry about Uncle Stanislav. Forgive me for not coming to the funeral. I can't bear cemeteries. We'll have to meet up again. Goodbye. Well, that was a short meeting. Let's go and talk to his father. Wait. <laughs> I got stuck on the doorway. Believe me, I haven't taken a drink. 
Oh, I'm glad you're here. I thought I'd have to drink alone. So many goodies laid out for the guests. Having trouble picking something for yourself, Judge? But this was Stasio's. It was special. Amber liqueur with quinces. I think you mean quince liqueur with amber, right? If it's not here, I'm sure it's in the basement. But I won't grope around down there in the dark now. I've got my hands full. Now, I don't want to trouble you either. Victor, could you track down a little bottle for your uncle? I suppose I'm obligated to accept this mission. <laughs> Good lad. A nephew like you is a treasure. So back to the basement and get some alcohol. Petia Voronin. My cousin Petia has changed a lot. Perhaps we all have. He's no longer the skinny kid with straight knees. We have never been close despite being similar age. Maybe because of our different personalities. That is a fair assumption and most likely the case. He's going to be the evil mastermind of this game and uh, trying to kill me and everything and destroy the world. I don't know. No Noir of Oregon. A bottle of red wine from United States. Hard to get. An inability to articulate brought on by great surprise clings to the bottle. It was difficult to mouth even a word of gratitude for the unique gift. Words got stuck in the throat, despite the adoration for this particular liquor. It is a favorite beverage, but un uh, but un unwelcome welcome gift. There is certain liquor. Oh. Well, that is interesting. Who gave that? Sauvignon de Bordeaux. A bottle of white wine from southern France, an expensive beverage popular among the aristocracy. The wine carries the aroma of peaches, apples, and a certain amount of conviction that a relationship between two people is beginning to take a romantic edge. A beverage enjoyed by the upper crust, given to man by a woman. Trace familia, mysterious woman. Maybe the mysterious letter uh, S who wrote that. Wrath. Quince Ligure with Amber. A small bottle of Quince Ligure with Amber. A beverage of, for true connoisseurs. Coinoisseurs. The bottle exudes the sweet aroma of Quince and the sincere joy of upcoming meeting. It is a beverage that brings people together and sweetens the bitterness of every life, everyday life. An element of ritual that two old friends would eagerly indulge in. Is certain. What on in? Every bottle found in the Sulski cellar contains a credit beverage, creditable beverage. Uncle Vernon wouldn't, Vernon wouldn't disregard any of them. Oh, we got a bottle for our uncle. Probably shouldn't have done that, but. Eh. How did it go? Mission accomplished? Oh, I can give him different drinks. Let's give him the Ligia. I think this is the one Uncle wanted. Yes. This is our little funeral battle. We would meet in Stasha's study after every funeral we went to and raise a toast to the dead. And recently, we've been seeing one another more and more at such events. More and more. But this time, even he has left me. So, to an easy death, as Stasio and I used to say. <laughs> How did he die? Hasn't Ligia told you? I haven't even had the chance to ask. He didn't suffer, but such images in the memory are better saved for later. I prefer to remember him as he was in life. What then? Am I drinking alone? <laughs> I have to go with the pride. May the ground be soft, father. I'm not betting there's an afterlife. <sighs> I 
Well, obligation fulfilled. Shall we get to the reading of the will? Hmm. Let's go with this. At the funeral, there was this sad Jewish fellow, Mordechai Hayat. Do you know him, Uncle? He worked for Stanislav, but that was a long time ago. I don't know him more than that. So, shall we collect our inheritance? Hmm. I guess we can do that now. Yeah, so let's find out what my father hasn't left me. Let's begin if everyone is ready. Would you all please take a seat? Ladies and gentlemen, by the power of my office vested in me by the grace of His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of all Russia, I hereby testify. Mr. Shulsky's last will and testament were prepared several years ago in the presence of Zaslav Fedorov, Esquire, that is, myself. My last will and testament recorded in the year of our Lord, 1888. In the name of the Holy Trinity, Amen. Excuse me, but Oop. could we get to the details? Victor. I think we all want to address more temporal matters, don't we? In theory... Would you be so kind? Of course. Ah, here we are. All movables and immovables relating to the family enterprise I entrust to the care and administration of my daughter. I do not prescribe a method of administering them. I merely offer her one piece of advice. To my brother-in-law and oldest friend, Alexander Voronin, I wish to leave the following. My collection of muskets and two revolvers dating to the uprising in memory of our first meeting. Stasio. I will have plenty to do in my retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Yes, I will congratulate them both and say you will wait the kitchen because, of course, <laughs> I want to go with the proud as much as I can. Um, well, we, we need to ask this first because we can ask that. Now, Mr. Fedorov, what did my father leave my mother? Hmm? Victor... Be serious. Nothing. There is a special item reflecting the absolute lack of any bequest to my former spouse, Nadia Fyodorovna Voronina. Right. Okay. I wish you success with your business and your hunting. I'm going to have something to eat before heading off. Just a moment yet, Mr. Shulsky. Your name is also mentioned here. <laughs> a last-minute plot twist. I would also like to come to the aid of my only son, Viktor Shulsky, by entrusting him with the use of my personal black grimoire, in the hope that he will be able to make good use of it. This is my last will and testament. Carry it out solemnly, though you may have found it burdensome. However, this last bequest poses a certain problem. The book is not yes, to be found. Yes, it certainly does. And what is that, may I ask? I am not in possession of this grimoire. The late Mr. Shulsky used it up until his death. Yet no one left it with me after his passing. Meaning it's disappeared? Interesting. Did father have his grimoire on him at the time of his death? It was only because of the grimoire that we could identify him at all. The hell? What actually happened? How did he die? A building collapsed on top of him. I don't know any other way of putting it. Eh? <laughs> okay. Um, father's death. A building? It collapsed on top of him? How? How did this happen? 
It was a day like any other. Papa had gone for his habitual walk. Every Tuesday and Thursday, he'd take a stroll to get some space, as he put it. When he didn't come back for a long time, I got the bad feeling something had happened. Then... We rode there together. An entire wall of a tenement had collapsed. There were three victims, including Stasio, who had the bad luck to simply be walking by. To see him there in that condition, it's beyond description. Maybe it wasn't a bad luck. Maybe it was intentional. Probably it was intentional, of course. Uh, I'm guessing my father was a... Uh, uh, stuck in habits and he'll always walk the same ways hmm. uh, let's start with the grimoire the grimoire could someone have taken it perhaps in all that confusion but why would anyone want papa's grimoire an ordinary person won't use it would the tomator just happen to be passing by Father had all his knowledge in there, but I don't know if it would be useful to someone other than him. I don't even know why he left it to me. I'm sure Stasio had a reason. Indeed, he probably has. And yes, of course, we can be fairly certain that that was not a weird accident. So, of course, it makes sense that the Remoir is missing. But let's find out where this happened, because that is probably the next place where we need to go. So let's see. Where did it happen? Where was this building? The southern part of Shudmieście, not far from the police station. Anyway, you can miss it. Of all the possibilities, this was the death that fate prepared for him. Hmm... Uh, I kind of want to go with the pride, but I don't want to get Ligia angry, so... I foresaw a slightly more pleasant end for him myself. I doubt even he deserved such a horrible death. Those might be the kindest words you've ever said on the subject of a father. Drisher, typical those of the words. sort of person to keep a portrait in his study of a family that was only a family on canvas. Not long after the painting was done, he got divorced, ruined the Nijitsis, and kicked out his son. But there the portrait hangs, as if family meant anything at all. I don't know what exactly happened with Abauritsa, but I know that Papa felt guilty. You don't want to forgive him even now that he's gone? The dead need no forgiving. And as for forgetting, I don't know how. It's just a shame about the grimoire. What do you intend to do? Um... Yeah, you want to go into... Well, I'll... Of course we go through this. Uh... Father evidently knew a certain Ivan Konechkin. Have you heard anything about him? Konechkin? No, doesn't ring a bell. All sorts of people came to Papa's store. That doesn't mean every one of them might know something about the grimoire. That's true. You've got your work cut out for you. It seems so, yes. And Mordechai Hayat? Could that be a lead? I don't think so. He worked with father, but he left more than a year ago. I don't know why. He was an assistant at our, well, my store. Do you know where I might find him? Sadly, no. Do you have any other ideas? Quite a lot, actually. I think we have to look for the answer in the place where it happened. With your side, you can make out more in those ruins than I, or uncle, or detective could. This is a good lead, but is it the only one? Obviously not. And where are father's things at the moment? You're standing at the very center of his kingdom. 
Not everything has been sorted through yet, but you go right ahead. And the store? I should check that too. I've started stock taking there to distract myself, and I don't want you to go in there before I've finished. As you wish. Hmm. See, so you already know everything. Well, I don't know. Why would I say that? Well, I guess. Oh, con concerning this. Okay. Now at least I can see how little I know. Maybe these scraps of information will lead me somewhere. Well, now that we know what's got to be figured out, forgive me, my darlings. I'm going to give my old bones a rest. I'll see you out. Goodbye, Uncle. And, uh, Ligia. I'm sorry it happened this way. That I wasn't close by. The most important thing is you're here now. Okay, what we leave behind, well, that is many things. So basically what I do now is I'll save points. After all, we have everything we can buy at the moment. So that is true. I'm just saving the last ones. Anything in... Did we get anything else? Uh, oh, we did. Yeah, the black grimoire that is beloved magic book. I didn't expect to inherit anything, least of all his black grimoire. Too bad it went missing, honestly. Was I worthy or was it a joke? Let the prodig prodig prodigal son go looking under the pavement while the book is at the Warsaw Charity Society. Well, who knows? We'll find that. Okay, we can talk to Ukir. We have, we have quite a lot to examine. So we have, of course, our home. Then we have. Uh, wait. Uh, can I see this area without? Uh... Oh, there's a tailor. Warsaw at night. Um. I guess I can't see the area at the moment, but so the my plan is our next episode uh, we start with the our mansion, then I'll scour the northern Srodmiechi, and then we go to southern Srodmiechi and scour uh, uncover what there is, and after and last we go to the find out more about father's dying moments. So I'll try to check these all areas completely on the next episode, and of course. See if we find other things to do and uh, continue the main story if there's nothing else to do. But there probably is something else to do. And I'll have to check if I can connect uh, with the um, Wanda. But we will find out. Find out. We will find out that later. So. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Wait, 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 wait. Where's, where can I see my pride? Is there, is it acquired flaws? My innate flaw, it got me in trouble on more than one occasion, but also get me out of it sometimes too. It is an integral part of me. Who better follows this flaw? Increase the heart dimension by, force by one. Vehemence, it belonged to Vesna, a simple peasant girl from Transcaucasia who killed her father in retaliation for his cruelty. Bukavach follows this flaw. Increased deed dimension by force one. Can I? Uh, hmm. So it's acquired. This is my mine. Um, I s probably have to check what that actually means when I'm using the pride choices. I'll acquire it, but I don't know. Can I acquire vehemence on some situation or is that just just there? 
Hmm. St I'm not certain about. Is there anything in help? Uh, oh. Oh, stomatologists are aware of their existence. There are blemishes on personal created. Personal created a result of a turbulent experience. They attract salutors and allow you to dormant. Allow young taumaturgists to make pact with their first salutor. Your flaw is pride. If you nurture it by making the right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. Oh, okay. So, I'll most likely try to go with the pride as often as I can, but there are, of course, situations when I don't do it like a... Uh, Leaky and Wanda was the uh, few examples here, but most of the time I try to go with that. It depends on the persons and what choices, but yeah. Anyway, so that is enough for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.